What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. So a few days ago I made two videos, one of them regarding this new hotfix that dropped uh, two days ago and the other one about the known glitches and issues that Season 7 brought to Battlefield 2042's gunplay and both of those videos got some good views for a channel like mine and the support was nice but some people in the comment section actually made me think twice about Battlefield community as a whole. Some people are actually praising DICE for bringing this visual recall to the game because they think that YouTubers and streamers can't play good anymore. Like that is their mindset. Now we're going to read some of these comments and we're going to take a look at how these people think. Maybe you can shed light on their thought process. Maybe we get to discover what these people actually think because from where I'm standing these guys are literally not thinking anymore. They just want some YouTubers to be making some videos complaining about an issue and then they can be happy because hey that YouTuber that streamer can't play anymore. So that's basically what they think. So that's about today's video. We're going to get to the comments section and read some comments, see what we've got. There are some positive comments actually explaining everything perfectly and some negative comments as well. But before we start, if you guys found this video helpful and you're enjoying the content, do make sure to like the video. That's going to really help the channel to just grow day by day and these videos to be shared with more Battlefield players like yourself. And also consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss out on future content. So let's just get right into the video. So starting off with these comments, like this is just a general example keep crying about it so he's referring to the visual recall and me making video about this visual recall being actually glitched on some of the weapons and so this is like this is just a perfect example but we've got some interesting comments here and there are people just spreading hate on streamers content creators one of those people is this dude saying bf242 streamers constant complaining so i just explained to this dude that i'm First of all, I'm not a streamer. And second of all, 2042 is just crap. And nobody can deny that. This is the mindset, okay? This is the common mindset about these people because they think that streamers, because of this visual recoil, can't get enough kills. And they're just happy about this. So, let's move on. He continues saying, All complex digital products have bugs and need patching. I come from Battlefield 3 and 4, so I do understand what people are saying about it not being as good as it used to be. But it is. Battlefield 2042 is a good battlefield and it is as it used to be, what he claims. It's just not as far ahead as we would like it. I would rather have a game be intense and immersive and fun rather than being super balanced and have it be so hyper refined that pro streamers now get kills in 0.04 seconds instead of 0.06 because of these some visual bugs and recoil update and stuff like that he calls it recoil update it's literally visual recoil glitch and recoil glitch that was reintroduced in the game and now the game is quote-unquote broken so he says that the game is literally not broken knowing everything we know about the the existing glitches like the visual recoil is glitched on some weapons the crosshair placement bug is reintroduced the vehicle third person crosshair is not lining up all those things are not making this game broken. The game's fine, you know, that's what they say. So, yeah, this is, again, one of those comments. Moving on, this dude says so many YouTubers are crying about the visual recall change. None of my friends noticed that change and couldn't see the difference when I told them. The game is so casual that this minor changes are almost negligible for most players. Except for the Iron Sights advances, that's some Rainbow Six Siege level of broken visual recoil, but my muscle memory. First of all, I have no idea how this dude is actually comparing the Iron Sights on advances to visual recoil in Rainbow Six Siege and calls Rainbow Six Siege like broken. I have more than 2000 hours on Rainbow Six Siege and that game is Completely on another level when it comes to consistency, comparing it to Battlefield 2042. Completely on another level, miles ahead, I would say. That is just a ridiculous comparison, to say the least. But yeah, it's very interesting that how these people are making fun of YouTubers actually speaking about the existing issues. Because a lot of Battlefield 2042 content creators never ever say anything negative about the game. You guys probably know them, I just don't want to mention their names here. But you guys all know who those people are. Not a single complaint, but when someone actually 
tries to state some facts about what's going on in the game, uh, about the gunplay that is now broken thanks to DICE, people come up and say YouTubers are crying, streamers are not playing it good anymore because of this. And I simply told these guys to just calm down first and consider something. You know, the average streamer has always been better than the average player. And if something just affects that streamer dude in a negative way, it's going to affect you in a negative way as well. If that dude's skill is like in the top 2% and he's affected, then how are you not affected by it and why are you so happy? Another dude says your entire channel is filled with 2042 sucks videos. Play a new game? Jesus Christ. Most of these people don't understand what it's like to play a new game for someone who creates content. Sure, I can play Battlefield 5, I can play Battlefield 1, I can, for example, make a video saying, hey, uh, it's my first time playing Battlefield 5 and it's great, the game feels completely more responsive than 2042, it feels generally smoother, everything's better here, but there's not anything new going on in those games and for someone who creates content you have to be moving with the flow if i was the content creator i've always said this and i'll say it again i would play battlefield 5 or maybe even battlefield 4 battlefield 1 is actually super duper cool now and i know that for a fact but being a content creator just makes things a bit more complicated and most of my videos are being made around news of battlefield 2042 you know this is probably the best comment that we've got in the two videos that we're talking about here uh this and i actually pinned the comment as well this dude says i didn't know dice hired infinity ward as consultants for the visual recall update that is something true this is just a top tier comment you know you always see these sort of visual recall in call of duty games i'm not against visual recall people by the way i just need to say this right now i'm not against it by any means i just wonder why would you have to add visual recall to your game after three years why if there was a visual recall in battlefield 3 for example it was there from the beginning or early on in the game it was added to the game in early stages i don't really know for a fact but that wasn't added to the game three years after launch giving people three years of minimum visual recoil and then all of a sudden add some visual recoil to the weapons thinking that it's going to make it more realistic and then being glitched out for some of the weapons bringing back some old crosshair placement bug that's what i'm talking about if the next battlefield game is going to have some visual recoil that's perfect but we need that from the get-go we need that from day one we don't need it three years after the launch and we've got this dude the unseen waffle here stating some based facts here I have shot many weapons growing up. I have a good understanding of recoil and this visual recoil is a disastrous representation of recoil. I truly don't understand devs wanting to introduce visual recoil, but clearly they should have went to an actual range and test multiple calibers of weapons then introduce that knowledge in the game. Multi-million dollar idea from a regular dude. So this comes from someone with a lifetime of shooting weapons in real life. That's how good this visual recoil actually is. Another one of these people says, I who whines now is that who uses laser guns with zero recoil. This is good when weapon feels kind of more random. Excellent. No more pro streamer aim. I hope they don't fix it. First of all, he says, or she says, I hope they don't fix it. You probably know that there is something wrong. And then again, we've got no more pro streamer aim. Do you think this is going to affect the pro streamers? And he says, when weapon feels kind of more random, it's good. This is very interesting because every time you start aiming and shooting, the visual recoil gives you some sort of feeling that the weapon is acting randomly every single time. And this is the actual reason why I do believe that the best thing DICE can do is actually reverting everything about this visual recoil and just completely remove it from the game. It's not because I have skill issues like some of these people have stated. You know, I, there is my gameplay there. People can see it and we have nothing more to talk about. If it is a skill issue, then we've got nothing more to say. But when there are people, YouTubers, streamers, players, speaking negatively about this visual recoil, then there must be something wrong with it. You know, it's not just something personal with me or any anyone's skill issue. That's also something important to consider. Someone else says the guns feel better than before. Yes, nobody asked for it, but it's a very unique move and people are loving it low key. It was a much needed change as weapons felt bland and easy to use earlier. Having more distances in Battlefield 2042 to get kills with ARs and SMGs, weapons being easier to use has nothing to do with visual recoil. That is something 
completely fundamental and messed up in Battlefield 2042 itself. The game is just easier, needs way less skill than any other Battlefield game I've played. And that has really nothing to do with this visual recoil. This visual recoil actually does not make it any harder to engage enemies at longer ranges. It's just going to make your weapon act different every single time you shoot. Simple as that. And it's not going to affect any YouTuber or streamer. It's going to affect every single person who plays this game. You know, reading all the comments, I thought maybe making a video about this can be a good idea. I was really not offended by these comments. And they weren't so offensive, to be honest. But I was kind of sad because DICE is actually using these sort of people to do what they're doing to the game. Because they always know that there will be some good percentage of the players backing them up for whatever disastrous decision they make. For visual recoil, after three years of existence for Battlefield 2042, was one of those mistakes. And it really feels bad for people to be so simple to think that YouTubers and streamers are going to be affected by these changes and they're not going to be able to play anymore, celebrate this, and hoping that DICE wouldn't fix this. So if you are really thinking the way these people think, all I can say is, if someone complains about something that doesn't mean that they are spreading hate, they don't like the franchise or anything, maybe even they like the franchise more than people who never complain about anything and they want the franchise to be better and see better days i'm just a person and maybe i don't need to say anything like this but battlefield fans need to be a bit sharper we need to be keen you know we should be aware about every single change that dice does to this game you just don't have to accept everything eyes closed so yeah with all that said go down in the comment section let me know what you think about the situation of Battlefield 2042. Let me know what you think about Season 7 because some people are already saying that it's boring. And I just want to know what my subscribers think about it. So if you're watching this, the comment section is yours to let me know what you think. And until next time, guys, stay cool.